If you are a school with one-to-one -one iPads, or even without one-to-one -one iPads, you have access to some iPads, you can do some really amazing things using um, green screen effects. Now, there are apps that you can buy that help you know, animate and do all kinds of green screen effects, and they're amazing, but not everybody has the money or the access to these paid apps. So there are things that you can do for free using um, free apps and native apps on the iPad. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, one of the ways is just using regular iMovie on the iPads. Now you will need an actual green backdrop. So in this case, I've actually got a fabric uh, green screen, but so any kind of green wall, could be a painted green wall, could be an actual green screen, could be a green bed sheet. Um, most kinds of green fabric will do. I would say um, do a couple of tests first to make sure that um, it works correctly before you take this to your students, but you can film using green screen. Um, if you don't have a green screen, that's actually not a problem either. You can use green screen effect for free using the Flipgrid app, and I'll show you how to do that as well. All right, let's talk about um, using green screen on an iPad with iMovie. So totally free native app on the iPad. We're gonna go ahead and go to the iMovie app, let it open up. Um, you, should, you should see if there's any projects you've worked on before, or this might be blank if you haven't done any projects yet. Go ahead and start a new project and just click movie, make a movie from scratch. And you will get um, whatever media is on your iPad. So ahead of time, I just used the native camera app on my iPad to record some video in front of a green screen, green fabric. And then I have some photos on my camera roll that I might want to use um, as backgrounds in my um, green screen project. So. The interesting thing about iMovie is that you start with the background and then add the video overlay on top of it. Um, I find that to be a little bit counterintuitive, but if you've never done it before, maybe it doesn't bother you either way. So I'm going to click on the outer space picture and then I'm going to tap create movie. And you can see now in my movie here, I've got the picture of my outer space background and it is six seconds long. So I'm gonna put the video of myself in front of this. So I'm going to tap on my media menu here. I'm gonna tap on video and I'm going to find the video of me talking. And you can see the video of me talking is a minute 23. So here's what's gonna happen. It's a little bit interesting. Let me move my video back to the very beginning here. Um, I'm gonna tap on my three dots. That's my more menu. And I'm gonna do add as green slash blue screen. So the video of myself gets added on top of that background image. Now, you can see it's not perfect. Um, it kind of works with the outer space image here, but the wrinkling on the uh, green screen kind of shows up behind me there. Now you'll also notice it is only six seconds long. So it trims the video of me in front of the green screen to the length of the background image. So also when i tap on this to play you'll notice my background image seems to move a little bit if too you're a school now with you might like that in the case of the outer space one it looks kind of cool but if you tap on it it's because ken burns is enabled that's that effect where it kind of pans across the picture so you can just turn that off if you want the other thing you can do if you want the background to last the whole length of the video you have is you would need to grab this and drag it and oops we need to drag that out and make it last the whole length of the video. Now I can play back. My background is a still if image in the school. background. And see, there's me in front of the green screen there. And that is how that works. So you add background first, then you're green on top of that. And um, you need to adjust the length accordingly to fit. Okay, let's talk about option number two for green screen, which you don't really need a green screen at all, actually. For this trick, we're gonna use Flip, Microsoft Flip, formerly known as Flipgrid. So I'm gonna go into my iPad and I'm going to open up the Flip app. Now, I'm already logged in as myself. Um, if you're the teacher in the class, you'd wanna create your own group, you'd wanna have students join your group, all that stuff and you set up. But this isn't a Flip, 
tutorial, this is just green screen specifically within Flip. So if you hit your record button, there's me. I'm gonna actually move back a little bit here. Now, Flip green screen works a little bit differently. Um, the AI in Flip detects what is foreground and what is background. So you don't need um, a screen behind you. It doesn't necessarily help. So what you're gonna do is on the side of your screen, there is a little button that looks like a guy in front of a screen. So you're gonna tap that button and this menu pops up. You are now going to hit the plus sign. And now my background has disappeared. So I now have a green screen, a virtual green screen. So you can see it does change. Sometimes it works more successful than others, but I can pick anything for my camera roll, camera roll right now. All I have to do is just tap on the background on my screen anywhere on the green. So when I tap on it, I now get my um, camera roll that pops up. So I'm going to select this picture that I drew um, because in kindergarten, we are doing a Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs project where students drew their own picture of whatever it is raining, but what the food weather is. So my video is, it is raining sushi. So <laughs> here's my background. The students did their um, drawings way more low tech. Um, paper, crayon, snapped a picture on our iPad. So as long as that picture is in the camera roll, it now is eligible to be a background in our flip project. So how cool is that, that you can have students be in their own work um, on the iPad relatively quickly and totally free. No fancy devices or backgrounds or anything needed.